talk now with one of the most powerful women in sports, Clara Wu Sai, is the co-owner of the Brooklyn Nets and the WNBA's New York Liberty. She's also the executive producer of Unfinished Business about the inception of the WNBA and the women who made it happen. I have been looking forward to seeing you again and talking about this. It's the best title, Unfinished Business, and it's really through the players' eyes, things that people don't even know happened back in the day and what's still going on. Why was it so important for you to be a part of this? Well, I think there are two reasons that I wanted to make this film. Mm -hmm. um, the first is the league was coming up upon a milestone moment, 25 years of the WNBA. And I thought it was a good time to reflect, take stock, and think about where we came from and also where we're headed. Uh, at the same time, we just bought the team and we were starting to make heavy investments, including uh, moving the team from West Chester, West Chester County Center, where they mm. had been playing, uh, to the Barclays Center, where the Brooklyn Nets play. And so um, the director of the film, the fabulous, talented Allison Clayman, she had the vision to tell the story through a dual timeline. So it follows... Um, it traces the history, the 25 years of the league, through the eyes of the New York Liberty, which is one of the original eight teams. And it also um, follows the 2021 New York Liberty in its first season at Barclays Center. Oh, that's, that's a great way of doing it. Yeah, but the, the second and really important other reason that I wanted to make this film is because there's been so little media coverage around women's sports. Even though there's you know, a very proven um, appetite for women's sports, only about 5% of all uh, sports coverage is, is on women's sports. And there's just such a lack of storytelling, and I really wanted to bring some national attention to the league and to these um, amazing athletes. Well, you and everyone involved have done a brilliant job, and I want to play a little bit of a clip here. Okay. Uh, the New York Liberty, uh, one of the original players, we know her as Teaspoon, Teresa Weatherspoon. Here it is. The game means that much to me. The game means that much that I leave something for someone else to be able to take. Not just take it for me. How about leave something for someone else? That when you walk away, that they got it. You left something for someone else to grow with. Leaders lead. And when leaders lead, they make sure they left the leader when they leave. That was a perfect sound bite because if that is a WNBA, it is about grit. It is about paying it forward. It's always, and a lot of people feel that the WNBA, the players in the league, they've never gotten proper credit about speaking up. Mm -hmm. as when we really saw that in, in the bubble season. It, that mm -hmm. really seems to be at the core, part of the DNA mm -hmm. of the WNBA, mm -hmm. don't you think? Definitely. Um, you know, I really admire the, the women in the WNBA because um, they have so much courage to stand up for important social causes. Um, and even going back to um, Sue Wicks, you know, in the film, who spoke out for LGBTQ communities back in the 90s and, you know, going right up to Black Lives Matter, as you mentioned, in the bubble. And, and even as recently as last year, when so many players banded together to just make sure that Brittany Griner was not forgotten during the year that she was wrongfully detained. So year after year, these women take risks um, for issues that they believe in. And I think that that is what this movie is about. It, and it is about um, persistence, resilience, overcoming obstacles, and, and, and really always leaving something behind, um, you know, for the generation that comes after you. Yeah, I love that in the film. It shows about what happened in the past, and you bring up Sue, and that's mm -hmm. a good example, but yeah. then also what is currently happening. Right. Can I talk about you and your hubby, Joe? Mm -hmm. I love sure. going to the games. Michael and I, we, I, we have gone to many, whether it's the Nets or it's the Liberty. Yeah. And you all, I gotta say this, so involved in the community, you yeah. and your husband. So what do you have going on? Well, you know, our teams play in Brooklyn. They belong to Brooklyn. Um, while I would love nothing more than to bring a championship home to Brooklyn, just because of the joy that it brings. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible what a win can do to lift people's spirits. Um, you know, I also really believe that it's important to build the community up. Um, so we've been giving loans, grants, and, and we've been making equity investments into businesses in Brooklyn, particularly black businesses. And for me, you know, economic opportunity, providing it, fostering it, has just been very important to me personally. Um, 
yeah. I'm, I'm the daughter of immigrants from Taiwan, and they came to this country for economic opportunity and for democracy. So um, it's just always been something that I've been focused on and, you know, wanting to bring to everything that I do. Yeah, you have championed that from, from as long as I have been very fortunate to know you. And a final question. The Liberty, you are the talk of the offseason in the WNBA. You all are loaded. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. tell me about the team. Well, it should be a really exciting season. Mm -hmm. uh, we now have some of the, 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 the top players in the league. You know, we have uh, Brianna Stewart, Courtney Vandersloot, and John Will Jones. And they join uh, Sabrina Ionescu and Benai Jelani, and also the magical Maureen Johannes, <coughs> who is known for her behind the head passes, right? right. And so. Um, it's a team that's full of all-stars and champions and MVPs, and um, the team is really deep. So I, I think it's going to be an <laughs> I think it's going to be an exciting <laughs> season. You're and making me choke. I know. Just, <laughs> just thinking yeah, about it. it it's going to be an exciting season, and, and I really think that it could be the year that um, you know a, a rivalry takes hold, right, between the East Coast and the West Coast. Probably the Las Vegas Aces, the reigning champs, and 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 the New York Liberty. Um, Maybe similar to, as you probably remember, the Celtics and the Lakers back in the 80s, right? I kind of remember that. That was when um, it really it led to, you know, really <coughs> peak fandom in the NBA. And, and uh, you know, we think that um, this is our moment. That's going to happen. Thank you. Sorry, the allergy attack and, comes every now and again. <laughs> it's not you talking about all that you're going to do with your stack No, team. I know you believe me. I know. I do. I do. But thank you, Clara. I believe in you. And I appreciate this. And Unfinished Business is on Sunday at 9 Eastern on ESPN2 and streaming on Prime. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.